Hello guys, happy peak week, Monday. I am doing my cardio now, just 45 minutes, and it was reduced down quite heavily over the weekend, so I did like 65, 55, and today it's 45. I did my last heavy lift on Saturday, did a rest day yesterday, and then today I'm just gonna do a light, um, pump up sort of workout for my legs and then I think that's it for like leg training just to get some inflammation down. I had a little bit of a rough day mentally yesterday because I started I started doubting myself just started picking my posing apart and you know like this far in prep you're definitely blind to what your body looks like. I think it's called like body dysmorphia or something like that. There's really no use in in analyzing yourself or your physique too hard at this point because you're not really drinking in the full true picture. So that was really unnecessary of me. And but I did it and I started doubting myself. I I've been working so hard on my mindset ever since the Pittsburgh show and it's been going so well. I've been manifesting every day. You guys know I've been doing my morning and evening routine, journaling and all that stuff. And every cardio session I work on my mindset. Um, and it's been going so well. So it's a little discouraging that I'm like losing sight of that now when I kind of need it the most. So I'm gonna try really hard to get back into that mindset of manifesting and believing in myself and the universe that I can and will do this. So yeah, that's where we're at this Monday morning. But on a positive note, it's beautiful. I slept really well and I'm off the entire day and entire week, so I have lots of time to pack and to pose and practice. I'm going to try on both bikinis and show you guys both. Please excuse my super pale appearance in advance. And then I'm gonna do my pump up workout. I'm going to food prep and freeze some chicken that I'm gonna bring and pack most of my stuff so that tomorrow is more like a chill day because tomorrow I have my nail appointment and I just want it to be a nice soothing day and to, today can be like a bit of a hustle you know what I mean So, 
I have been spending my day just packing. I did my pump up session. I've spent a couple hours just relaxing and reading. I did some food prep and I froze, weighed out and froze ground turkey and chicken into little Ziploc baggies that I'm gonna bring with me. But so funny story, I like, I think it was two weeks ago or something like that. I was so obsessed with cookies like giant like monster cookies you know those that you see everyone have like backstage and stuff i was like oh my god i need that like <laughs> i need that i wasn't going to get any like post-show treats to bring or anything like that with me because i would have rather like just been in the moment and got whatever i wanted to or felt like having at the time because you never know but i really felt like i really need some cookies man so i ordered from pdx cookie co i think they're called i'll put the name here um and usps lost the package and i was like oh darn okay well just uh let's do a refund and we'll try again next time but turns out they did not lose the package which is freaking awesome so i got myself some cookies so I got their goat pack, which has these cookies in them. So it's six cookies and this is them. Oh Lord, will you look at that mountain? What the heck? All right, well, I'm going to pop all of these in the freezer and um, I don't really know which ones I'm gonna bring. Probably, definitely this one, because hello. And this one. Jesus Christ, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm not gonna look at them too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop them into the freezer and let them sit there until it's go time. Okay, I am heading out to my nail appointment. Super excited, I'm bringing my seltzer with me. I don't know what I would do without seltzer during peak week because like it's essentially the only fun drink I can have aside from coffee. Since I'm not having any like sweeteners or any pre-workouts or any bangs or rains or monsters, this is my my cup of bubble for the day or well I have like three a day or something but so so good I don't yet know which nails I want to go with I have two options that I am going to just spontaneously decide between I went with this pearly pearly white and my gosh it is just so beautiful she always does such an amazing job mm -mm -mm. here's the other hand Beautiful. All right, so I just got home from my nail appointment. Had four ounces of turkey and six egg whites. 
us a late lunch and then in about an hour or so I'll do my pre-workout meal which has a couple of carbs in it but I'm still very low carb we cut them down again just so I can keep everything tight and then we might fill me out a little bit on either tomorrow or thir Thursday depending on what we're looking like but I will meet my coach or coaches uh, either tomorrow or Thursday or both days so they can take a peek at my physique so I want to show you guys what my husband ordered so we have a squat stand out there on the patio and he ordered a hammock for it very excited about it I already sat in it a little bit and it's very serene it's gonna up my patio game a lot so very excited about that I might I might jump in there here is my pre-workout 30 grams of oats with 100 grams of frozen strawberries and four ounces of turkey with mustard good morning guys don't mind my fancy robe my first layer of tan yesterday but I showered off the uh, showered it off so it's not super visible but I am a little bit more tan except for my face of course slept super poorly because I'm just so excited so it was hard falling asleep and it was hard staying asleep it is now 5 15 in the morning on Wednesday hit a new low way in this morning I dropped to 144.6 I'm gonna have some breakfast and then we're off to the airport Man, like the trip really went as well as it could have gone. Like I'm so pleased with how the flight went and my like going through like security and all that. Everything just went really well. The flights were early, like it was just a dream. I'm at the hotel now, like I said, I'm all checked in a little earlier actually since they opened check-in at four, but I was like, hey, is it ready? And it was, so that's awesome. I'm really happy with the room too, because I have both a fridge and a microwave, which is incredible. We also have a full-length mirror, as well as this mirror here. Now, I'm going to slap on a layer of tan I'm gonna eat then I want to see if there's a grocery store nearby so I can walk over and buy some gallon jugs and some blueberries and maybe some boiled eggs if they have it yeah I, uh, I apologize if I was rude it won't happen again here is my post tanning meal I've got oats that I'm gonna sweeten with some honey and uh, in here I've got some almonds and ground turkey beautiful huh Okay, gang, I am back from my little walk. Oh my god, I love Charleston. It is so beautiful and it feels like a mix of my hometown and one of my favorite um, cities in Cali, which is San Luis Obispo. I don't know how do you pronounce it, but it's one of my favorites. And it just, I love the vibes. Everyone's so friendly. I feel really excited to show my husband when he gets here and I'm super stoked to have the entire Saturday to just explore 
and go shopping and try out food and stuff. It's gonna be awesome. But anyway, uh, during my little walk, I went to two places, a grocery store and then also to Walgreens. Uh, the grocery store was more like a deli. Um, didn't really have all that I wanted. I had also wanted to find some fresh blueberries or strawberries or something somewhere, but nothing adjacent, so whatever. It's not that biggest, that big of a deal. But I did pick up um, a gallon of water and a one and a half liter bottle of water so that I can better track my water intake. Um, and then I also picked up some wine because Coach gave me the instruction this morning that I'm going to have wine tomorrow. So I picked up this one. I want a white wine. I'm definitely a white wine drinker and I want a dry one so that it's not too like sweet and sugary. So hopefully that one fulfills my needs, but I'm so excited about having some wine tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. Anyway, um, I'm here with my second layer of tan. I sweated so much on my way of walking back to the hotel, so um, I'm a little uh, streaky and splotchy, but that's okay. I've unpacked a little now. It still looks like a hot mess in here, but that's okay, I guess. It has to. I have like my tanning station over there and I've got my food station over there. Just like some some pre pre show day bag prep whatever. 746 and I went to see coach. We looked at my posing a little bit and my conditioning and looks like we are right on schedule. Here is a a little photo, uh, did some posing tweaks, but this is one of my front poses. I do two of them, but um, yeah. So excited that everything is looking like it should. Now I'm going to have my last meal, which is just gonna be four ounces of chicken and three rice cakes. And then I'm going to do my toenails. And then I'm gonna sleep. I'm very excited. I'm getting really, really excited. So, yeah. Last meal, pedicure, and one more layer of tan. I'm just gonna sleep in it and then rinse it off in the morning. It's a bunch of the same old, same old errands. The usual. Not liking my hybrid. Coming. I'll call you later. See what you did here? Oh, sorry. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I am making my coffee in my little travel concoction that you guys know I do not travel without. I also picked up a Charleston mug for all my coffee drinking needs yesterday, which I thought was kind of cute. It's like a stainless steel and it's gold and it's fabulous. My current favorite coffee is this. So I brought some of this. Please excuse my socks over there. I brought this. So all I do is literally I boil water in this guy, which um, is this big when you like push it together. It's like collapsible or whatever. And then I just put coffee grounds here and I pour the hot water over and it's like a pour over coffee sort of thing which is much much better than whatever this little thing is that they have with like these little coffee pouches yeah i very rarely use that unless i really have to but yep this is my coffee this morning i also did my check-ins um where's my phone i can show you guys my check-ins check-in photos I feel super small today, um, but I think that's good. Probably rather feel too small than too fluffy. But yeah, this is my check-in this morning. And then this front pose also. And my back shot. 
and side pose. So that was my check-in. We'll see what my coach says. He was talking about potentially raising my carbs just a little bit today because uh, yesterday I was at 140 carb, but we'll see what he says. Hope I get my wine today as well. He said we'll, we'll sort of see how that goes too. But I'll be meeting him and Jamie later today and we'll talk about suit selection and final touches and posing and and uh game plan for tonight and tomorrow morning so yeah i'm going to have my coffee now do some vacuums and then have some breakfast relax and then i have my hair appointment uh for a blowout at 11 so that's the morning plan it's only 6 30 so so not too, not too shabby. Here is my meal one, which is a quite sizable one, I must say. Two rice cakes and a packet of oats. And I've got four ounces of chicken with 10 almonds. I'm going to drench them in some mustard. And I'm going to sweeten my oats with this thing of honey. Most of my meals will be looking like this today, give or take a couple rice cakes. I just add my rice cakes in if I need more or less carbs. It's either chicken or ground turkey or these little tuna packets that I also brought. Keeping it very simple and consistent today. I don't ever do anything crazy the day before the show. The craziest thing I'll do is hopefully having my wine. Very excited about that. Okay, so I'm making more coffee right now. And while I wait for that to pour down, this is how it's going, by the way. So while I'm waiting for that, I was just quickly going to show you guys the posing cues that I promised I would go over. So what I think about in each pose, specifically for me, just a couple cues that I go over try to remember <laughs> not always but I'm just gonna set you guys down here please do not mind the mess in the background I promise it's just a hotel show mess it's, I'm not always this mess so I have two front poses that I do this is my first one so in this front pose I try to remember a couple things one is to pop this glute right here you see instead of instead of this i pop it so that you create that nice little line i also try to remember to uh, turn my hips a little bit to create that that glute pop even more and get my legs a little bit more in focus as for this leg i Try to remember to push down my toes a little bit. You see, now it's not pushed down, and now I push it down. Just a subtle little flex. <laughs> and for my hands, I try to remember to not cover my glutes with this arm, like this. Try to move it to the side. And then this hand, it has a tendency to crawl into here. So I just try to remember to keep it right here so that it doesn't bunch up my skin here. This is my second front pose and for this one I try to remember to move this knee a little bit out so that it doesn't cover and this leg I unlock it slightly so this is locked this is unlocked just to create a better sweep and for my mid section I try to remember just keep it tight but also keep my rib ribs in here same thing with my hand just making sure it doesn't cover my glute and it doesn't bunch anything up so that's it for that one and for both of the side poses i this is my worst side so i have more cues on this one than the other side the other side i just kind of do but this side i tried to make sure to get that glute pop again you see the difference between this 
and this not cover my glutes with my hand this hand i just tried to make it inconspic inconspicuous try to remember to keep my stomach nice and sucked in and this leg i just try to get my toes kind of close to each other but not too close so that you can still see this back leg and then turn my knee in a little bit to create that instead of this so that is that for that then for my back pose So I'll just turn around and do it like this so you can actually hear me. But what I do in my back pose is I don't lean. I don't lean too much and not too little. This is kind of where I stay. I have soft knees, so not like this. Soft knees. Uh, I lift my glutes up instead of push them back, if that makes sense. So lift my glutes up. Um, Hands are nice and relaxed. I pinch a little bit to create a better shoulder cap, like that. And then my knees, so my feet are kind of hip width apart, but I try to push my knees out just a little bit, like when you do a Romanian deadlift, just to get, if you see, this is unpushed and this is pushed, if you see that difference. So those are the cues that i think about in each pose for wellness for bikini it's obviously just two poses front and back but we do have a, a quarter turn in, in wellness so that is what i think about during my posing i'm now going to put all electronics away i'm gonna have my second cup of coffee for the day and I'm gonna read so I actually brought two books or I brought one book but I bought another um, because I stumbled upon it in uh, Charlotte at the airport and it's by one of my favorite authors I'm trying to take my shoes off at the, at the same time but yeah it's what by one of my favorite authors and I've not actually read this one I thought I'd read all her books but this is from 2020 so I've been reading this one and so I'm gonna read some more, have some more coffee, just to relax. It's only 8 o'clock. Then in maybe like an hour or an hour and a half, I'll have my second meal. And then I'm out for my blowout appointment. gang I am headed out to get my hair blowout and then I'm going to go to the venue slash host hotel and meet with my coaches and then to check-ins so full full uh, full afternoon ahead Hey everyone, just got back from check-ins and my blowout and all that. My hair is already in a bun. It's tomorrow's hair that counts, not today's, so not too stressed. But yes, so back from check-ins. I'm number 465 tomorrow. Met with Jamie and my coach David, did some posing tweaks. So everything I actually said in my posing video just before 
doesn't really apply anymore <laughs> because I we did a lot of tweaking to all of my poses so so yeah I had to throw my robe on because I felt self-conscious that someone was gonna barge in here um, anyway so yeah we did a lot of posing tweaking tweaking of poses so I have to work on those a lot today make sure that those are inside my head and brain and in my in my motor skills so that I can nail those tomorrow and uh, yeah then me and Caroline went to check in Caroline is my coach David's wife and she's also doing wellness she is in class B I am in class D so yeah very excited Alrighty, I just slapped on another layer of tan So now we're looking a bit darker, but this light is like super white, so I can't really tell too much, but yeah, I'm going to have a cup of tuna with eight almonds and in here is some oatmeal with cinnamon so that'll be my second to last meal for the day and I will just sit here relax a little bit I'm gonna start editing this vlog actually so that hopefully I can get it up sometime this weekend so that I can start working on the show day vlog because I do want to separate them it's four o'clock I'm gonna check in with my coach at five and then again at seven to see what the evening protocol will be like and other than that I'm just gonna prepare for tomorrow I'm gonna pack my show day bag so that that's all good to go another layer of tan a little later and I'm gonna prep my makeup station and just try to relax as you probably can tell we decided to go with the blue suit this is in part because the top fits me way better slash it, look more, it looks more flattering because I don't really have a lot of chesticles going on right now but the padded, uh, the blue suit has a padded top so we're going with that packing my backstage bag now and coach bought me this <laughs> as a gift this is what I'll be eating for my pump up right before stage so that's nice I do love pickles so it's appreciated uh, so yeah in my backstage bag in this section here I have a the blanket poncho dress in case we don't have time to go back to the hotel before dinner what else I have like some backup stuff that I probably won't be needing like for hair touch-ups in case I need that on this side I have some tanning touch-ups, I have a mirror, and under there is just a pro tan applicator, hairbrush, pump up bands, uh, dry shampoo, and this is like um, texturizing powder for my hair in case I need it, bikini bite in case I don't have that backstage, some spray for my extensions in case they look dull or something, a mini fan in case it's hot and a like portable charger and then in this bag i've got my hair extensions and a book and water and a spork and some dixie cups and some rice cakes and then tomorrow i'll also throw my chicken in there on this chair is what i'll be wearing i've got all my jewelry in here a little like it's like a it's like a jewelry roll you could say I've got all my jewelry in there Ta -da! I'll bring the whole roll in case I need backup of anything yeah so that's how far I've come I still have a couple of items on my checklist Still need to pack a 
robe. I might bring a hotel pillow. I don't know yet. It depends. I probably won't, to be honest. I need to pack the bronzer, but I need to put the bronzer on tomorrow morning. Um, and gloves. Actually, will not be needing candy. And the meal is kind of packed. Water is packed. I guess foods and meals, same thing. So there we go. This is not pee. <laughs> this is my wine. It is 7.32. I'm gonna have this. And then I'm gonna hit the sheets and sleep and wake up to show day. Which means that this is closing out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know how it went already, but I don't. So I'll see you on show day.